Um, this will be like sensors that they go to the hand. If we touch a sensor, the finger done. Okay. So if we go to the code, control? Should I say control? <laughs> we basically we are reading the raw data from the EMG from the EMG um, signal. Then is processed by the by a classifier, which take the all the data from the eight channels and 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 depending of the training of the movement of the hand. It will, it will select which one is the the cellular world, the, the, the we need one, and then later we'll send like a like a message to another to uh, it publish a message into the ROS environment. So we have an, an interpreter here now that is depending of the gesture that previously from different nodes we we got. It will send which what each finger will do. In this case, we are used using basic movements, which is um, closing and opening the hand. So it gives it gives you a straight ahead um, all the all the fingers open it or open it close it. So later on, we are receiving um, mess them. We are receiving message message from the from the microcontroller with the with the FSR data because if there is an object uh, uh, in near the hand and it touches the fingers, it it will stop. So the the motors don't you know don't compress the object itself. So depending of how the the the, the hand is move, moving the gesture that the, the real arm wants to do and also how the sensors are reading it will behave in one way or another and we are using we are using for this uh, Arduino so we can read all the readings from the FSR and Raspberry Pi as an environment where it's running a ROS a ROS as the ROS core and a servo and a servo hat which is controlling all the servo motors through the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi is not is not that good for controlling DC motors. Yeah and, and that would be like uh, our project.